What's up everybody, Renfell here, back again with another Rogue Trader Beginner's Guide, and today we're diving into my favorite class in the game so far, which is the Marksman. Now, this is a beginner's guide, so it's for the new players who have either never played Rogue Trader or might not have ever played Warhammer. Uh, like you, I was new not too long ago, the beta has helped me learn a lot about a rogue trader and what what owlcat games is building here it's quite a bit different than their previous two pathfinder games but the marksman class if you've ever played a ranged character that's what this is this is the ranger of uh the warhammer rogue trader game and throughout my various uh interpretations of the beta as you will um i i have found the marksman to be the class that i enjoy the most and this is going to be what i'm playing at launch uh for the first character that I play all the way through the game. So the marksman, like all of the other classes here, or doctrines as they call them, um, can be played slightly different depending on how you spec your character with talents and abilities. There are a few things that are inherent to the class. One is which is that it is a uh, marksman class. It is a ranged class first and foremost. So if you look at the focal points over here on the right hand side when you have it selected, the marksman is a master of all ranged weapons, capable of quickly getting to an advantageous position and mercilessly raining fire on enemies. They are well trained in using highly diverse range of arms, but they especially tend to blast their enemies with burst and area of effect weapons. So the focal point is on movement and ranged attacks while using cover and dodge, burst fire, and area effects. So you get shot on the run out of the gate, which makes this one of the more, I would argue, versatile classes right out of the starting arena for the first like 15 levels of the game because while other characters have to wait until they build up momentum to get secondary attacks you get two attacks per round by default just from shot on the run so the traditional way this works is you get your movement then you do your action and then you're done but shot on the run allows you and this is the keystone ability for marksman um, it allows you to gain plus two plus your agility bonus two movement points um, extra and your next attack costs one action point less although it does suffer a negative 10 bs penalty so it doesn't court and it does not count towards a limit of attacks per turn so essentially this allows you to move attack move a little more a little less than you would be able to in your first run and still do an attack which is a little bit of a penalty so think about it if you've ever played like in, in pathfinder or D D. Um, your offhand attack is always done at a penalty, even if you have like ambidextri ambidextriousness and other perks, um, you still have some sort of a penalty to your offhand because it's not your primary. So that's essentially what this is here. Um, they also get uh, ballistic skill, agility, perception, strength, awareness, demolition, athletics, and medica. Now I've had some people ask, can you play a swashbuckler type where you are a, you know, pistol in one hand, sword in the other? Technically, if you wanted to spec down into and take one of the not recommended uh, abilities to slash talents where you, you have like the ability to use melee weapons, you could. But I would argue that if you're going to want to play that swashbuckler type who uses a sword and pistol, you would be much better um, aligned to picking the fighter who can do that by default and then just choosing um, like other abilities for that character that complement that sort of privateer style of gameplay. The marksman is mostly always going to be preferred to be straight up ranged and that's it. And the reason for this is because um, in this game, uh, if someone is up in your face with a melee weapon, you can't use a ranged attack. So you're forced to then use your melee attacks. And these are all specialty um, classes in the sense that the marksman is a specialty class for the ranged attacks whereas the fighter is the specialty class for melee so if you try to take melee with a marksman you're gonna be at a disadvantage because you're never gonna be able to prop that up high enough to be of usefulness so I would argue that you should just go straight up marksman um, and go from there remember that the types of Attacks that you can make with your weapons depend on the types of weapons you have. So different weapons will do burst fire, other ones will do AoEs like flamethrower, other ones are going to do sniper shots. So it's not really your abilities and your talents per se that affect the way you're doing damage with your weapons. Um, all of those abilities and talents are the things you can do that are extra apart from your weapon attacks. 
So without further ado, we're going to dive into the actual game here now. I've got a saved game where we can go look at some combat in action, and you can see the marksman up close and personal. So let's go ahead and load this game, and we'll go from there. All right, so we have loaded the encounter here, and we're about to start the battle, and I've got my characters placed. One of the things you need to pay attention to with your marksman, in this case, I've got Argenta as the marksman of my party, is that cover is very important for them. It's also important for um, anybody who's not a tank. Um, so, for example, you know, this, I might choose my main character who's an adept in this case I might choose to put him behind some cover there's really not a lot of cover available here so I can put him over here and put Pascal maybe over here um, and then we can start the battle from here but cover is a main component for the um, for the marksman now I need to get to her turn so we're going to do a few things first and foremost so that we can just get to her turn I'm going to move up to uh, Pascal and do a we attack so knock him back and now we'll move into Abelard and we'll eventually get to our marksman Argenta and I want to show some things with her because there are some different ways that you approach combat with a marksman compared to your other characters um, so because you get shot on the run which is a really cool thing so I've got Argenta here now You'll notice that the green, she can only move so far, right, with the green. So I'm going to put her up uh, to I here. This, this is going to give her access fury. to a couple of different targets, essentially. Um, I could hit this guy right here, um, this guy, this guy. Or I could go for what's known as a burst shot. And I could get potentially... No, I'm only going to get two of them. So... The thing that pay attention to is if I wanted to put burst shot this way, notice that as I move this around, it's a sweeping fire, right? Look at the red. The red is the the direct line for the burst of fire. Now that's going to hit anybody that's in my and that's in the line of it, unless they're blocked by some sort of cover. So in this case, um, you know, looking at this direction, I could get my friendly targets as well as the enemy targets. So you do need to be careful about this. In this case, I can go ahead and shoot over here. Now before I do that, let's check to see if I have any other abilities. Um, I could use Revel and Slaughter, which would give me a crit hit damage bonus, a crit hit chance. Um, let's go ahead and trigger that. Deeds is worthless. Okay. Now because I used that, um, I used one of my action points, but I still have enough left over to do this. We're going to go for a burst fire and we're going to see if I can't get um, these two. Hopefully I can at least get one of them. I act. Oh, I got both of them for that. That's beautiful. Now here's where the benefit of the marksman come in, because um, all the other classes you would be done at this point unless you had enough momentum to trigger your extra abilities. But in this case, I can use Shot on the Run, which is my, my um, core keystone ability, which now allows me to move a little bit further. So I'm going to move up to here, get another ran of cover and now I get another shot but I can do my single shot and let's go for the Felix guy because he's Felix is the boss I'll do it. so we're gonna shoot him he's down for the count now and now because of that I also was able to trigger enough momentum to get my military excellence and this is where the uh, marksman really shine so military excellence is a heroic act which you could trigger once you have enough momentum and this gains lives you the ability to make a number of free attacks equal to your weapon's rate of fire, minimum of two, with the cheapest weapon's attack ability. Until the end of the turn, the first attack against a new enemy automatically deals a crit hit. So this ability is really good to use against multiple targets. So essentially, I'm going to trigger that. In the will of the and now I've got, it looks like, three attacks that I can use right here over my character, right? So I'm going to... But it's my cheapest one. I can't do burst fire with this. I can only do single shot because that's the cheapest attack that this weapon can do. So I know I've got a target over here. Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. So remember, the first attack the is a crit. Commands, I act. He's toast. Now I'm going to do the next one over here. For the weak. 
haste toast. Maybe I can get that third guy as well. Ah, I missed. But I do get one more shot. All down. All thanks to Argenta, my marksman, who came in and just did what? One, two, three, four, five targets in a single turn. Um, my marksman just went in and went bang, 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 bang. And it's, it's just, I love the marksman. It's so cool once they get going. Now, the burst fire, this is important to understand, is that that's dependent upon the weapon type. So her weapon does a single shot and burst fire, but I can look at other weapons here. Um, the sniper rifle does single shot and dead eye shot. The uh, auto pistol does pistol shot and pistol burst. So they all do different things, right, based on what they have. Um, modified laser gun does a single shot burst of fire. So you just need to check the ranged weapons that you have to see if they offer some sort of different attack methods if you would like to try something different. But the weapon that they give Argenta right out of the gate on Fading Valor is totally worth it. But when you're playing your own character as a, a marksman, you'll be able to customize it as you see fit. So. That, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the coolest classes in my mind in the game. And I'm probably going to do an overview on that at some point, why it's my favorite class. But when you go in here and check out your um, abilities and things of that nature, when you're going in here, you know, you can look at available talents. And, uh, you know, people were asking about the pirateer type. Um, if you wanted to, you could go down in here and also look at um, if you wanted to add melee where is it at? Somewhere in here is melee weapon proficiency, and I forget where I saw it. Um, like chain weapon expert, um, things of that nature. But you can go down here and pick things that would allow you to be more of like a, um, you know, melee type if you wanted to. But I think it's great to just stick straight up out of the gate and just take the ones that have the thumbs up to give you the best marksman abilities you can. Like rapid reload is freaking awesome. Uh, I love it. Um, but also, all of these are really cool. Um, Fired Up is a good one as well. Um, each time you deal damage, your crit hit damage is increased by 3% until the end of combat. That's really cool. Um, and then looking at abilities, you can get things like, um, you know, we already have a lot of stuff. But look at, look at Rapid Fire. The next burst attack is going to have double the rate of fire, but it does 25% less damage. Um, and the shots follow random trajectories. So it's not exactly that accurate, but it's still a lot of fun. In any case, everybody, that is the Marksman. That's sort of the beginner's look at the Marksman and why you might want to be considering this as your first class if you're a new player to Warhammer uh, Rogue Trader. The game is out really, really soon. This is like the last, I think this one, I think I have one more to record. These are the last of my pre-launch edition uh, guides as we prep for the full-time launch of this game. We're going to be playing for December 7th onwards. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully you're going to be tuning in. Daily streams happen at 5.30 a.m. and 8 p.m. Central, and I do a ton of guides on YouTube in between those sessions. And we do multi-stream here and on Twitch, so you could catch us in both places. And I play a lot of games beyond just Rogue Trader, so check out the other playlists, join our Discord, and I'll see everybody in the next video or live stream. Until then, stay safe and happy gaming, everybody.